Dramatic music swells as we see visuals of a recent presidential debate. In a fiery post-debate reaction, former President Donald Trump has leveled a bold accusation against ABC News, calling for the network to lose its broadcast license. This marks the latest in Trump's ongoing criticism of media coverage. Trump's ire was directed at moderators Lindsey Davis and David Muir, who he claims were biased against him during Tuesday night's debate with Vice President Kamala Harris. Trump felt that the moderator's questions were unfairly targeted at him, making it difficult for him to present his points clearly. Trump labelled the debate a rigged deal, expressing his frustration openly. He accused ABC of creating a three-on-one scenario, suggesting that the network was in collusion with the moderators to undermine his performance. Trump felt that the fact-checking was unfairly skewed, arguing that it was designed to discredit his statements while giving his opponent an easier time. This has sparked a broader conversation about media bias and the role of debate moderators in ensuring a fair and balanced discussion. Despite polls showing Harris with stronger numbers, Trump contends that his own internal polling indicates a commanding lead. In response to the debate's outcome, Trump has declared he will not participate in any further debates with Harris. The Federal Communications Commission, or FCC, has weighed in on the matter, noting that it does not have the authority to revoke licenses of major networks like ABC, CBS, NBC or Fox based on political disagreements or content decisions. FCC Chairwoman Jessica Rosenwissel emphasised that such actions are not within the agency's remit. She reiterated that the FCC's role is to ensure fair and efficient communication services, not to act as a content regulator or enforcer of political viewpoints. The agency's primary focus remains on maintaining a balanced and open communication landscape for all. Trump's demands are part of a broader pattern of media criticism. Previously, he has targeted CNN, NBC and CBS, accusing them of biased coverage and suggesting their licenses should be reviewed. This rhetoric raises concerns among experts about the potential for increased violence against journalists, as inflammatory language can often incite real-world actions. The broader implications for press freedom are significant, as such hostility can undermine the essential role of the media in holding power to account. As Trump's media attacks continue, they provoke a crucial debate about the role of the press in a democratic society. The press serves as a watchdog, ensuring transparency and accountability, and any threat to its freedom is a threat to democracy itself. Stay tuned for more updates on this developing story. For now, this is your name, keeping you informed on the latest news.